Let's talk about saunas. Something completely unique and a little bit unorthodox. Stick with me. Okay, this is a review of the new Morsana. Now, this is the old one. It's awesome, I've had it a year or two, at least two winters, and it's phenomenal. I've got it set up in my backyard right now. It's snow's coming down today. This is all snow from today, so I, I figured it's a good day to do a sauna review. And aside from the color, which is awesome, because it can double as like a hunting shelter, there's a couple of differences. The uh, the old one has this straight zipper, which is okay, but it can kind of, the zipper can like flop down into where the stove area is. And it's a little looser material. Maybe that's because it's older, but uh, this is, it's a great shelter. It's just, this can easily bump into your, your stove when you're coming in and out. So you have to really pay attention to keep it straight and tight. But this new one doesn't have that problem. It's got this like, moon or half moon shaped zipper with a flap on top of it that's really nice it's keeping the snow out and it will just kind of fold down and latch right there so when you're coming and going out of it the stove right here is clear of all 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 particulates and all craziness the uh, stove jack's still the same um it's nice because you can close the stove jack and then once it's closed It'll keep the snow out if you want to actually use this as a tent or you can open it and Velcro it to itself and that keeps that from touching the stove which gets crazy hot and this material is designed for it but this material will melt if it touches it. I've, I've bumped it into it short amounts of time and it hasn't burnt but if you leave it there long enough it'll melt because it's got plastic and nylon and stuff in it so I'm really digging the color. That's legit. All right, so I haven't pulled the floor out of that one. I figure I don't really need it for this this little bit because I'm on a bunch of rocks. And I'm gonna fire this thing up and use it. So let's get this fire started. Got some pine free, pine, pine fire, man. If I could talk, pinefireshop.com, pine fire stuff. You should check them out. They work. 
great. I'm gonna use more than I need. But these little dudes are some sort of natural material infused with pine sap. And I haven't really made a lot of tinder or kindling in this. So I'm just gonna light it. Put the rest of this in there. This is that powdery stuff. And I'm pretty darn sure that's gonna just be more than enough to keep it going. Like a little pile there. Check out that knife. I got that from the Tannen, uh, if I could talk again, the Topakala, Topakala from Finland. It's a Finnish puko. So pretty. A hunting knife from Finland. Doesn't get any better than that. Good thing to do with all that extra newspaper you didn't ask for that you get in the mail. Just stick it in your sauna. Make it your fire starters. interesting thing about this stove is there's a lot of space right up on top so if you stick it in there it stick one at a big 45 degree angle so there's an air pocket underneath stick your kindling underneath there and then just kind of ram the stuff up top this grate underneath here which is this guy will allow a ton of air you can hear that rocketing through it'll allow a ton of air to get into your fire and then this thing gets super hot quick. It gets way faster. It gets hot way faster than uh, any house sauna I've ever messed with. Fire sauna for the win. Those doors are amazing. that out with some double door on there see what that does oh that's for the rigid pole I couldn't figure out what this is for but now I know I'm gonna go put that in real quick I'm a dummy I didn't get what this extra pole was for but there's an extra pole that goes in this zipper right here. Went in pretty easy. And that makes like an actual legit solid door. Right, let me unzip that in there. Ooh, I can feel the heat coming out of it already. Look at that. I bet you don't even have to zip it. Nope. Yeah, that's, that's freaking brilliant. That's just awesome right there. So you just walk up and be like, let my people go. And you're done. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. That's a thousand times better than this other one. Legit. All right, I gotta get the hose set up because I'm gonna sit in the sauna. I cannot believe the snow. It's coming down that fast. I'm gonna sit in the sauna and then I gotta let my kids hose me off, you know, cause that's awesome. So let's get to this. This new door is just awesome. Like that is just super cool. So we can dry that log out. Okay, while that fire is going, let's talk about a sauna for just a second. So a friend of mine from Finland informed me years ago that the Finnish military, whenever they travel, they take saunas with them to include places like Iraq and Afghanistan. And I got thinking, why in the world would you want that kind of heat in a place that's that kind of hot? 
And then as I dug into it and did a little more research and just learned about the the benefits of sauna, everything from endorphin releases to high heart rates akin to uh, running, training, to feeling like you just ran for 20, 30 minutes hard, to heat shock proteins and cold shock proteins, I kind of realized this is something that I want on the regular. And I'm getting older, and the older you get, the more important recovery is as compared to working out. So I continue to work out. I did a, a hit followed by back and buys today with heavy lifting for me. And a sauna is about the best recovery I have ever seen. It helps flush out all the junk and sugar and crap that you eat. And then it helps that you shouldn't eat that I eat. And then it helps reset. So it pushes lactic acid, uric acid out of the muscles and replaces it with water. It helps me sleep so well and it just makes me feel good. So that's enough for me to want and have one. If you really want some really good information on saunas, Joe Rogan has a great podcast about it. Just go Google Joe Rogan podcast on saunas or sauna if we're going to say it the right way. Um, this Moore's sauna gives me the opportunity to have it in a mobile capacity. Nothing is cooler than being able to go teach a survival class or to go over in the mountains camping and fishing with family and set a tent up, especially if you're there for two or three weeks, have a hot shower. Essentially, you're hot, you sweat until it's water, that's all that's coming out, jump in the creek, the river, the snow, whatever, and sleep like a baby. Saunas are amazing. So that's why I have saunas. That's why I'm interested in them. And that's why I got this awesome thing. Let me talk about this one real quick. For those of you that didn't see my other video, I took one of these up into the Uintas uh, a year or two ago and and uh, I've been using it on the regular in my backyard and when I go camping and stuff and uh, jumped in the lake with it and it was pretty stinking awesome. But this is an upgrade. Mainly this door is just awesome. There's a rigid pole in it, so it works like an actual door. It's got a little flap right here, which is nice to keep the snow out. And that's all you have to do to close it. It'll hold itself shut. You can zip it if you really want it to lock down, um, but I'm just leaving it loose. It's got a window right here, which is cool. So if you don't have any skivvies on, you can put this down, but if you want to check on your kids or whatever, you can open that up, look at the wet mess outside and say, you know, what? I'm going to stay in the sauna. That right there is my old sauna that's sitting up in my backyard. And as soon as it dries out, I'm going to put it away. I don't want to put it away wet or I'll just go cook my stove in it and get it nice and dry and then put it away. This one I can tell has got a lot of upgrades. It's got, it's structurally more sound. The door is phenomenal. A lot of the similar build and it's camouflage so you could use this as a hot tent i would probably add a flue in your your thing there and i've got a water container that i'll have to show you the water the water setup's really cool because you can put water in it and you can boil, boil the water using the exhaust pipe and then you can just open up the hose from the water and put it right down on the stove which gives you steam like a whole steam room steam bath which is very awesome um and there's a vestibule that I've also got on one of the other ones, on my blue one. The vestibule took me a minute to figure out how to set that thing up, but it's really nice to have a changing room or a dry place on the front of the sauna before you go into the actual sauna itself, especially if you have mixed genders, people you don't want to be naked in front of, that kind of thing. This guy up. The so. reason I really like the vestibule is it gives you a place to go in and change that's warmer, right? So here we are in the vestibule. Right there is a window. What's cool about these windows, and I have no stakes in the ground. They send you these really hardcore nice stakes, but they're not assembled yet. But the windows just come right up and you can roll them up. I can't do this with one hand. And then that little toggle will go into that little toggle right there. I usually leave them shut because I'm not always wearing clothes on these things. Um, but that will give you this nice little changing space. You could leave like a rug down or something. And then you can get into your actual sauna area. So anyway, this is the more sauna. And as soon as we get this fire going, I'm going to cook myself. Get me some of those heat proteins, heat shock proteins, cold shock proteins. Do the great reset. And then let my kid hose me down with the hose because that should be silly. Something zen about that sound. And I can just hear metal cracking and I can hear drops 
of something from outside. I'm sure melting all the snow off the outside of this thing. Now I can feel the heat rising right here and that's gonna create a hot air zone that just forces air in there. It'll suck it in from the little vent and then that'll just speed it up and make it faster and faster and faster. Get this log dried out. And then I can throw it in on the mix. I just realized how goofy these things look. Basically, I wear this to keep the tips of my ears from burning when it gets hot or if I've got headphones or some music, whatever. I'll just tuck this down. Keeps you from getting too burnt. This part of your body can sweat and release the heat, but like your ears and whatever can't handle the heat. And if it gets way too hot, just get a shirt or whatever, put it over your mouth and breathe through it. Okay, it's time to go out and get hosed off. Better with rocks, but I have any rocks. Steam it good. What's up, buddy? You ready? Okay, should we go out and do it? Okay. Grab that hose. Make it sure it's warm when I get back. Get me with it. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Okay, let me see it for a sec. Hold that. You hold a little hat. That's cold, bud. Is that awesome? Good thumbs up. Woohoo! Ah, another 15, 20 minutes, and then I'm golden. I walked over through this tree, and the snow blew and just completely dumped on me. It was freezing. I wish I would have had the camera. That feels great. Thanks, dude. You can go watch your show. That is beautiful. Okay, final thoughts on Asana. It's really cool to have a portable sweat lodge sauna, wet dry sauna that you can take camping or car camping or in my case on survival classes. We'll do survival classes for two or three or four days and then people get done and they're stinky and sweaty and smell bad and you stick them in a sauna, let them wash off, go sit in the river. Um, put dry clothes on and it's just like hitting a hard reset. It is phenomenal. So if you want one of these, they're Moore's, M-O-R-Z-H. M-O-R-Z-H dot E-U. Um, they double as a ice fishing thing, a hunting tent, something robust or whatever. They're not made to be left out permanently, but that one back there has been in my backyard for two seasons, okay? So they can take a lot of use. That is a ton of use. The color slightly changed of blue. That's it. So if you want something robust, whoo, it's getting hot again. And uh, a sauna that you can use on the regular when you go in the back country. Um, check these guys out. They're pretty awesome. All right, guys, hopefully that's valuable to you. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments down below. I'm going to finish cooking and go eat some food.